Power utilities face increasing power demands and changing power flows. Improving the performance of overhead lines is key to addressing these challenges. The ACCC conductor offers superior performance and capacity compared to conventional conductors of the same diameter and weight. Built on the highly evolved foundation of aerospace-derived carbon fiber hybrid composites, ACCC utilizes a high-strength, lightweight, and dimensionally stable single-strand composite core that is stranded with trapezoidal-shaped aluminum wire. Let's look at the ACCC installation procedure. Different dead ends vary slightly, but we will show the most commonly used variant here. Any lineman will recognize this from ACSR installations, and the procedure here involves a standard dead end installation in the tower. What follows provides an overview of ACCC dead end assembly, but does not replace proper training. The first step is to install a core retainer tool or bug and a pulling sock to pull the conductor through the towers. We start by trimming the aluminium layers of the conductor to reveal the composite core. It is imperative that the core remains intact. Therefore, the inner wire should be notched only and removed manually by bending and fatiguing. The core needs to be cleaned, gently sanded just to remove any surface shine and then cleaned again before fitting the bug. This will provide the core retainer with a better grip. The core retainer can now be slid on and tightened using suitable wrenches. Once the conductor has been pulled up and clamped in the tower, we can remove the pulling eye by cutting the conductor. The end of the conductor is now free to work with for fitting the dead end. We slide the dead end inner and outer sleeves over the free end of the conductor. The aluminium layers are trimmed to reveal approximately one meter of core. Once again, the inner wire should be notched only and removed manually by bending and fatiguing. The final cut of the core is then made using an appropriate cutting device in preparation for final inspection and assembly. We use a cloth to clean the core to remove oils or residue from the stranding process. The core needs to be cleaned, sanded and then cleaned again before mounting the collet. We slide the collet housing over the core towards the aluminium strands. Then we install the collet, moving it towards the housing, leaving part of the core exposed. A clevis can now be screwed onto the collet housing and tightened using suitable wrenches. The conductor and inner sleeve are brushed to remove any oxidation layer and conductive grease is applied. We ensure the conductor and dead end eye are well supported at all times. The inner and outer sleeve are slid into the marked position. The inner sleeve is pushed into the outer sleeve until it reaches a stop. Next, the aluminium sleeves are pressed on the conductor. Pressing occurs from the conductor end towards the eye. The head should be rotated every few presses, just as you would with ACSR. When the pressing is finished, we file off the flashing to make sure the surface is smooth. Using the clevis, we hook the conductor up to the insulator string. After removing the frog clamp, the conductor is fully installed. The installation technique for ACCC is as straightforward as standard ACSR, provided CTC's guidelines are followed. No special tools are required. In any event, CTC and its partners provide comprehensive training and installation support for all projects, no matter what size. Contact CTC or read more on ctcglobal.com to discover more on ACCC, the world's most efficient overhead conductor.